Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, we've got another shop card. Tip me coffee. Just got in from work. Work in night. So I'm gonna make quickly make this video and then uh, I'm off to bed. So. Coffee's probably not the the best thing to have this time. Bed. Just gonna keep. So my shop card. Yesterday, this man is an absolute diamond in the community. He is much respected. Everybody in the community comments on everybody's videos. <clears throat> that guy is Grandpa's toy room, Mr. Ron Stewart. Thank you very much for the uh, shop card, Ron. I appreciate doing the swap with you and thank you for the comments on the back and I too appreciate your support of my channel if you're not subscribed to Ron's channel then you should go over there and subscribe he's a very very epic builder you can see from these beautiful cars that he's got on his uh, shop card there Absolute diamond geezer. Get over, subscribe, like, and comment on his videos. Right, update on this 57 Chevy. So, you see, we're still in bits and pieces all over the place. The body, uh, sorry, the interior, not the body. The area I'm going for is. Hold it at that angle because the light's a bit bright. So it is a satin grey and black. A uh, bit of a balls up on here. I decided on the satin grey and black. But what it should have been was black should have been the grey and the grey should have been the black. So I ta when I taped it up instead of um, paying attention when I put the in, in the uh, old airbrush I put uh, the black in first and then sprayed and I was like oh damn but anyway that's how it's going uh, I've still got to do all the the sort of handles and all the crummy sort of bits and pieces on the inside um, here's the dash so we're going for a gloss so, uh, semi gloss a grey dashboard with a black infill uh, and then all the dials and everything will be picked out on that so that's that um, you know about all the black chrome on the bumpers and everything I told you that in the last video what I have done is I've now sprayed all the black chrome or what I call black chrome which basically it's a, a, a uh, a black metallic uh, finish where all the chromey parts were I'm leaving that as it is I think that looks pretty pretty nice um, not, I'm not going to put the deco over the top of that so everything that would have been chrome is the black chrome on the body now that's that's come out pretty neat god ding I've got a ding just there in the bodywork. I'm not, I'm not playing around with it. It is what it is. It's staying, it's staying like that. Right. Further update on the engine. Um, the headers that I had that I nicked off the Chevy Blazer when I attached them to the engine couldn't fit them down in here. They stuck out way too far. So I had a scoot around on the uh, YouTube um, to see what I could find. And I popped into Fred Henry's channel, West Georgia Customs. If you're not subscribed to uh, Fred Henry, by the way, you should 
go over and subscribe to him as well. And he had a video on making headers out of solder. So that is what I am doing. See that? So I've borrowed the back end off of the original headers off of the Chevy. And I am proceeding to make my own headers out of solder. This has all got to be tidied up. None of none of this is actually attached. It all still comes apart. So I'm in the process of trying to get them to match up roughly with what's on there. And got all the plug wires glued in place. Uh, and these four red ones on the black. On the back, I've got to be painted black, so that's where we are currently. And hopefully, I will have this done and dusted over the weekend. The black chrome infills on the bonnet. Everything's bright, isn't it? That light. Let me get rid of that light. But there we go. I think it looks pretty sweet actually. Or well, we all look pretty sweet. Let's give you a quick, quick little mock up. Rough idea. Without the set, I'm not putting it, I won't put this at the moment. So. Give you a rough. Like, I'm going with, I'm going without the. The light bar across the front, the Chevy light bar, but we're looking at it look nice. I think so. Okay, that's it. I'm going to finish my coffee. I'm going to bed. Have a great weekend, guys. It's bank holiday weekend here. Um, and I'm on holiday for the week, so you'll probably get a few extra, couple of extra videos through the week. I'm not quite sure. I might do a Shelf Queens video for you guys with some of the other stuff that I've uh, got on my shelves. So, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. And if you're in the UK, have a great bank holiday. See you in the next one. Bye for now.